Hi, uh, I'm Lewis Mawley. Uh, I'm a uh, concept model maker working in the film industry and I also do a bit of uh, teaching which is where we are here at the Australian Film and Television School. Yes, I've got a, uh, I've got a peculiar uh, item of my own. Um, it's a uh, fascination that goes back uh, well over 10 years in fact. Um, indeed, uh, it's all hidden away uh, in my secret box. This is about 10 years ago, I started uh, doing a comic strip about a uh, time-travelling ancient Egyptian dwarf. And this is a study model I sculpted up of her for one of the uh, adventures that I haven't written yet. But in it, she's uh, travelling across no man's land and she comes across a human skull that's been stuck on a tree to warn people away. And uh, she just looks at that and in her general uh, robust attitude to life, she just looks at it and keeps on walking because that's just the kind of character she is. Just about every comic book superhero you see has got mulching muscles. If it's a woman, they've got uh, high heels, they've got, uh, they've got black leather, they've got machine guns, they've got blonde hair. And I thought, what about other people? Uh, what about ordinary people? And um, I was looking at a book about Egyptian disease and discovered that uh, dwarfism was actually quite common in ancient Egypt. And when I saw a uh, carving of a dwarf on a uh, piece of uh, a model of a ship from Tutankhamun's tomb, I was actually fascinated by this little character. She seemed so full of life. I thought, well, what's, what's her backstory? What was she doing? And I thought, the more I thought about it, the more I began to get an idea of who this character was. And that was the basis for my comic. I decided to write a comic about a character that came from the time of Tutankhamun. And she gets thrown into the 22nd century and has lots of adventures in outer space. So you start off with a character design and sketch your character in a, um, a typical pose. From there, you work out how they're standing. The posture is very important for actually establishing character. So you get the line of action, which is their spine, and that then tells you how their hips sit and how their shoulders sit, and that begins to give you an idea of how the actual character sits in terms of their, uh, their anatomy. Once you've got this, you can actually start tracing out the figure in what's called a turnaround. So you do the figure from three different sides, so you really understand the pose. And from there, you can actually work out how their skeleton sits within the body. And then you can actually make the skeleton out of something like a coat hanger, just by laying it over your drawing. And once you've got your coat hanger bent to the shape of your skeleton in the correct pose, you can start bulking out the body mass with aluminium foil, and then start laying in the polyclay over the top of it. And at these points, it's just very rough. But as you go on, you can start to really work the anatomy through. And I decided to change her costume halfway through because I was uh, enjoying working with the anatomy so much. So I uh, gave her this uh, pterodactyl costume. And the interesting thing I find when you're working on these that when I first had her, she's got a very uh, worried look because she's looking at this uh, human skull, which is meant to be a warning. But when I actually sculpted the figure, the figure itself, the character started to come out and she wasn't apprehensive, she was actually just self-assured. And I find it really interesting the way that your characters can actually live and all you've got to do as a designer is listen to them. And I find that really exciting and satisfying.